Oh, pistachio, you might be ruined for life. 24 hours to make the chili. Crazy delicious. First of all, welcome to the uh, Houston Heights food tour. We're actually in the Lower Heights right now, We're down on White Oak. We want to make sure that people realize how amazing the food is here. We got a top five charcuterie in the nation, top 10 restaurant in Houston, top 25 hottest places in the city right now. We do a downtown tour, a Montrose tour, and the Heights tour. We here in Houston are a hodgepodge. We've got a little bit of everything. And that's what we try and strive to get on our food tours is a little bit of everything and show you kind of some of the amazing things going on in Houston food. This is Happy Fats. This is what they're known for. They're really neat hot dogs and they're baked goods. So right here in the middle, we have uh, our savory cheesecakes, the orange with the red. Those are gonna be your sweet pepper flavor. And then uh, the lighter color in the middle, that's gonna be your sun-dried tomato flavor. All of them are made with a stone wheat thin crust. I think you're really gonna like it. Go ahead, dig in, go at it. They're 100% all be Frank's Slodo Bakery makes the buns, so they, they try and keep everything local. We're a small independent restaurant, um, and we feel like we're really part of the community. We're not just a restaurant. We get to know a lot of our uh, guest names, and um, really our focus is on just uh, good service and good food. And we're a place where people can come and have fun, so and feel good about what they eat. Thus the name Happy Fats. This is just a little snack to kind of get you guys ready to really eat in a little bit, all right? I actually love that a lot of the time, the history that you get on the tours, even native Houstonians don't know. You guys know why it's called the Heights? It's higher than the rest of the city. 19 feet higher, actually. Where we're standing now is actually dry. So if you go to any restaurants, if they serve alcohol, you must become a member first. They ran uh, a horse and buggy system. They came out here to the Heights and out into Westheimer, picked up people in the morning, a couple times during the morning took them into the city, the start of public transportation in Houston. So we're here at Lee's Fried Chicken and Donuts, and you're actually gonna be having a double donut fried chicken sandwich with bacon jelly. Everything's made with love here, I'll tell you that. Donuts are handmade, each one fresh every morning at 3 a.m. Take a sandwich. Oh my God. What's not to love about bacon? Lee here, he decided to make more famous bacon jam. It's uh, bacon, jalapeno, and onions. I couldn't think of a better area to put this place at. I mean, people love to sit out here on our tables and enjoy the food on the weekends and seeing what the neighborhood is really about. By about 1929, this had become one of the upper middle class areas of the city. By the 1950s and 1960s, this had really become kind of a slum area of the city. From in about 2000 to 2003, there was a boom in the area. They really started to come in and reurbanize and make it really nice. We, we always like to finish up our tour here at Gelatzi, one of the most incredible gelato places you're ever gonna eat. But before we go in, I always like to give people an opportunity to take their picture here in front of the Houston mural. And they will give you as many samples as you want of the gelato, so I'm telling you right now, try a lot of flavors, because they're awesome. At any given time, we've got 36 flavors here. They actually have the oldest accordion player in the United States come and play here at Gelatzi, it's really cool. You can't have your dessert until you eat your pizza. All right, let me try the black cherry. That almost tastes like cotton candy. It's like a 12 year old kid. We've been making ice cream uh, in our family since 1953, but we've been here in the Heights since uh, 2014. We make all the gelato, uh, which is what we're primarily known for here. Uh, we make it behind the counter in small batches. If you're eating lemon, it's gonna taste like lemon. If you're eating birthday cake, it's gonna taste like birthday cake. Whatever it is, it's gonna be about 70% denser than your average American style ice cream. I think it's important um, to learn more about where you live through food because food kind of makes up a culture. I love food. <laughs> I moved back to Houston from New York and I uh, was really surprised by the food scene here in Houston, Texas. Because you're gonna get things that you probably won't have a chance to try for five or in my case, 10, 11 years if you don't just take the plunge and do something like this. You know, I could go on and on about all the great dishes that I've had, uh, but you know, to be honest, you just gotta come out and try it for yourself. And you get to meet a great group of people to enjoy food and have great conversation with.